Hey, hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So in the next couple of video, we're going to talk about images. Images are very important to a lot of my Final Cut Pro projects. I use them sometimes just as backgrounds. Uh, I add pictures, I move them around, I create animations and let's get into it. Okay, so for this video, I want to talk about just adding pictures to our Final Cut Pro library. Now, as you know, I'm a big stickler for not having any of my media on my Macintosh HD. I don't want it on my desktop. I want it on an external hard drive. So right now I've got my external hard drive plugged in and just right here, I've got Final Cut Pro images. I've got two backgrounds. I've got a Freddy Krueger glove.png and a Freddy Krueger glove.jpg. And I'm gonna talk about the difference between the JPEG and the PNG. So what I'm gonna do is you can create, like if you had thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures, I'd go ahead and create another keyword collection and sort the pictures up. But for the sake of the tutorial, I only have four and one of them's already in there. So I don't need to, I'm not gonna lose them. There's four images, I don't need to break them up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command I and let's pull in our three other images. So I've got, where'd this stuff go? It was in uh, Final Cut Pro images. Let's go ahead and pull all these bad boys in. And one of them's already in there. So just like that, let's go back to stills. Okay, so if you wanna use a background image, I'd recommend pulling in the dimensions of 1280 width by 720 in height. Again, as we talked about before, that's that four to three ratio. That'll cover the whole screen. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, I've got a Batman Arkham Asylum 1280 by 720 and I've got two Freddy hands. I actually don't even know what the sizes are and keep in mind it's always it's always better to grab big and then downsize to small because if you start small and if you want to transform it to big it's going to get pixelated. So 1280 by 720 is the perfect size in Final Cut Pro. As you see right here I'm going to hover over that just like that. Perfect image, nothing's pixelated. If it was too small, you'd be able to see the pictures in this. So that's kind of the gist. Uh, in this video, what I want you guys to do is just pull in four or five or 10 pictures in your Final Cut Pro library. And uh, for the background images, grab things that are 1280 by 720, and then grab just like random pictures of anything you want. And we'll go ahead and put these Freddy hands over the Far Cry stuff, and we'll move this stuff around. And uh, yeah, so good luck with this and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video where we talk about adding an image as a background.